Hey, my name is Darren Trask. I'm a hip and knee replacement surgeon here at Olympia Orthopedics. I grew up in the area, grew up out on the Washington coast in Aberdeen. I uh, did my training at Washington State University, did med school at the University of Washington, um, and then was away for both uh, orthopedic residency training and fellowship. My wife's from this area as well. We have family in the area, so Olympia Orthopedics was very attractive for us to come back to, uh, to be in an area that we know and an area that we really enjoy. I chose orthopedics uh, in an area in medicine. I'm an engineer by background, uh, so I was really drawn to something where we can make a tangible difference uh, in someone's life. I think medicine's very important across the board, but I found that I didn't get a lot of enjoyment out of managing chronic medication therapy. I like coming in and being able to see somebody with hip or knee arthritis as an example, take them through a treatment uh, outline or treatment algorithm, uh, and eventually perform surgical care if indicated. It's very rewarding to see somebody who is having difficulty walking, and whether it's with therapy, taking some anti-inflammatories, doing a surgery, that we have a tangible result to, to get them better. Number one, if you need a hip or a knee replacement, you have to have moderate to severe arthritis on x-ray. So if you don't have that, you're probably not a candidate for joint replacement right off the bat. I like patients to have tried things as well. We know that patients can do very well with non-operative treatment, whether that's activity modification, ignoring their pain to an extent, um, taking anti-inflammatory medications, taking Tylenol, going to physical therapy, trying various forms of injections, whether that be a biologic injection, whether that be steroid um, or a gel injection. Once patients have exhausted that and they're feeling that they're having pain on a day-to-day -day basis or more often than not, or if pain's interrupting their activities, interrupting their sleep, that's probably when a joint replacement makes the most sense for them. When patients come to see me, I would just want them to expect uh, a physician that's gonna take care of them, somebody that's gonna hear their concerns. With whatever we do, we try to keep your life in motion.